That's right. Officials say that a known drug dealer was living in that house, and they did have a warrant to go in and make an arrest, but instead of finding their guy, they found a visiting family with four small children inside. Now, I do have to warn you, the injuries and the picture that you'll see here in the story are graphic. Some cops busted in the door and threw that grenade in there without even looking first, and it landed right in his playpen and exploded on his pillow right in his face. This is the playpen this little boy was sleeping in. The 19-month-old is now in Grady's burn unit. A warning, the following photo is graphic. This is how he looks now, laying in an induced coma. There was no clothes, there was no toys, there was nothing to indicate that there was children present in the home. If there had to be them, then we would have done something different. A confidential informant told Habersham County's special response team a drug deal was made earlier in this Cornelia home on Lakeview Heights Circle. The SRT then hit the home with this no-knock warrant for an alleged methamphetamine dealer at 2 a.m. Wednesday. You're trying to minimize anything that could go wrong, and in this case, uh, the greatest thing went wrong. The Funzina family from Wisconsin had just moved in with relatives after their own home had burned down. We knew in our minds there wasn't children there, but unfortunately there was. The sheriff told me a pastor spoke with all involved. He described the team as emotionally distraught, many parents themselves. Is it going to make us be more careful in the next one? Yes, ma'am, it is. It's going to make us double question. Well, the sheriff did tell me that the mom mentioned to him that she was aware of suspicious activity inside of the house and she did her best to hide her kids from it. And that may very well be why the informant never saw any evidence of children. Now, as for the man they were after, he was not at the home at the time, but they did finally arrest him along with three others sometime later. Live in downtown Atlanta, Wendy Corona, Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat. Now, Wendy, the mom also told Channel 2's Ryan Young earlier today that their van was out. Front, parked in front of that house and that the van showed evidence of children. All their belongings were in their van. What does the sheriff say about that? That's right. Um, she did say that there were stickers on the windows of the car and that you could see the car seats inside. The sheriff did say to me that no one on the SRT, that special team, or even the informant noticed that vehicle with all that evidence. All right, Wendy, thank you.